hi all and welcome to your channel so today i am going to do this video on why the kanzagali stand needs to be expanded or updated but also why it won't so let's just get it into view get some height people are working i want to clear the main stand behind me okay so right the reasons why the Kennedy Dagley stand needs to be upgraded at least upgraded and that doesn't mean a new stand that just means upgrading the stand is on a personal note it's one of the most comfortable stands I've ever sat in in football make sure I'm clear of that main stands Well, clear the main stands. Okay, so it's well, it's a the most co uncomfortable stand I've ever sat in in football, and I, do, and I don't say that lightly. I mean it's very, very uncomfortable. Those seats in that lower tier there are far too close together. They are. I'm six foot two, and I'm excited when Liverpool attack because it means I can stand up and give me legs a break from um, going numb my feet go numb because I'm not luckily sometimes I've got the kids with me so I can put my legs on a slant and I shouldn't have to do that because I'm invading their space but if you're in that stand with them um, what a load of men who are all big fellas and you're sitting straight all years are going to be very uncomfortable in a row so that's the main reason for me why that stand needs to be updated at least and it doesn't mean a new stand. Another reason, the concourse area. It, it's not fit for purpose. When you look at the main stand concourse now, it's um the main stand concourse is nice. Okay, it's nice and airy and big and there's plenty of room in there. They kind of done a leash concourse is it's grey it's dull it's tight okay let's, let me go over the stand a sec because it's, it's a very narrow stand as I've said this before it's, it's a narrow stand so you can manage in the concourse area when there's loads of people in there it's not a nice stand to sit in okay so did have to lose some capacity by making the uh, the seating area wider, but I, I, I don't know how to do it. Did you have to do? I don't know. Did have to do a rip out some of some sort? Of, I really don't know how to do it. Because um, when the when the Anfield Road's done, when that's done, that's going to be the same concourse area as the main stands. So it's just yeah, it's just uncomfortable and. If you're paying the same place ticket as someone who's sitting in the main stands and they're getting a more comfortable experience and the same thing on field roads, you know, if they're paying less and they're getting a more comfortable experience, is, is, you know, something needs to be done about them. There's no clubs reduce tickets, ticket prices for obstructive views. This is just as bad because it's, it's very uncomfortable. And I'm sitting there next season um, for the FA Cup. My, my seats for the FA Cup are in that stand. Luckily, I'm in the second row. I was trying to get the front because to be more leg room, at least. Right. Okay, so they're the reasons why, on my part, it needs doing. It, it's because the stand isn't that bad looking aesthetically. It looks alright. It's just not very comfortable. Right. Reasons why it won't. Which I've already addressed in the videos. These houses here. Okay, there's not many people say, well, why don't Liverpool buy them out? Well, Liverpool bought out the streets behind the main stand and there's a backlash. Now, I say they made people homeless. And I don't mean it in the sense that they were on the streets and had nowhere to live. I mean, they got kicked out of their homes. These, these are people's homes. These people have made lives here. You know, kids have, have got memories there. So, I don't think Liverpool want to suffer that backlash again.
because every time I say Liverpool, my um, family's homeless. I don't, I don't mean it. Like they were kicked out honestly because they obviously weren't. They were given an alternative place to stay or to live. But like I've I've got a home with my with my children, and it's where the memories are made. Now, if you take that away from families, then it's not nice, and that's where the backlash is. Yeah, as I said, it, it still looks modern. It, it still looks pleasing on the eye. It's it's, it's a fair. Yeah, let, let me get let me go back, touch, and have a look at the other side. The, the stand looks alright. It looks modern. It'll fit in with the rest of the grounds. The Anfield rows and the main stands and the cop. But um, and the height isn't that bad. Okay, the, mo- the main stand's an absolute monster, I know that. But that Anfield Road's going to be lower. The Kennedy Agley stand will be a little bit lower again, but it's not going to be massive, massive different height, height difference compared to what the cop is. Right, let's get back over. <coughs> Sorry about that. And if, if anyone sat in that stand, they'll know exactly what I mean. If they, you know, if you see, if you probably probably if you five foot eleven plus, it, it, it can't be a comfort. Like I'm six foot, as I said, I'm six foot two, and it's very very uncomfortable experience for me. So even like five foot eleven, it's it's not going to be really comfortable to sit in. I, I, I get it. Football grounds never wear. But but when you see these stands going up and then you're doing well, I'm sitting here and they're paying the same price ticket as I am. I'd like to be a little bit comfortable as well. But yeah, I'll leave that bit there, okay? That's why I think it should be updated. Right, so a little do a little bit of history on it now. And I won't go back to the you know before the Cameron Road and before the Cameron Road, I won't go that far back. I'm just going to do the Kennedy Agley stand, okay? So, this stand originally was built in 1992 and was called the Centenary Stand because it was it was 100 years after the pool formed. The pool formed in 1892, the stand was ready to go in 1992, okay? Now, the upper tier was added on to the Cameron Road stand. So in the picture you see that. So I'm wondering, because I thought this stand was built the same way as the other stands were. Whereas they built the upper tier and ripped the lower tier out and then put the, up, the lower tier in, but I don't think it was looking at the photograph. So maybe that's why it's very uncomfortable in that stand. It's, you know, it's built on the foundations of an old stand. In 2017, was it? I'm going off the top of my head on this. I haven't done any research. I've just, I've just uh, pulled the photographs. Um, was it 2017? It renamed the Kenny Dagalish stand after, you know, Sir Kenny Dagalish, one of our greatest ever players. I hope we've got that right now. If not, it'll, there'll be an asterisk on there saying, um, no, it wasn't. I'm pretty sure it's 2017. Yeah, about five years sounds about right. Okay. So the capacity of the stand anyway is 11,762 and that's a lot lower from the stand facing it, the main stand, which has a capacity of, um, what, just over 20,000 isn't it? The upper tier seats 4,600 people and the lower tier seats 6,849 people with the executive boxes with 348 people in. Um, it also houses the PA box, which George does on match days, he's been there forever. The TV set is in the far corner, down in that corner there, 
and the police option is also in that stance. Okay, so just a short video on, on why I think the stand should be updated. And that doesn't mean a brand new stand, I mean just make it a lot more comfortable, make the uh, the concourse areas make, make them a little bit brighter, you know, inviting. It's fairly dull and dingy down there. So yeah, I'll leave that that there guys. I'll uh, I'll do a little fly over the, the work site. I'm not gonna give any comments until um Monday on the work site. But play a little bit of music for you and go over the work site, okay? So if you like this video, subscribe, give it a thumbs up and comment what you think about the stand, okay? And I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now.